Hey everyone, uh, this is Celine from It's in Pilates and Soaps. I'm back after a long time. And I was thinking as to what uh, I can make because what the videos I put up doesn't seem like uh, people are really watching it. So I gave it time. Uh, I thought what I could do. Uh, then I was trying those uh, things on myself. So I today I'm going to be doing something with a uh, natural shampoo though I have already made a video of uh, natural shampoo earlier uh, but this is going to be uh, with some more lather and some more uh, uh, conditioning to it uh, so I have been using that my hair is uh, really soft and manageable uh, so I'll show you all how I do that and uh, before we get into the making uh, I would request please do subscribe like uh, share if you think it's going to be useful for people uh, the shampoo after I have started using it uh, my hair fall has reduced uh, to almost no hair falling at all from where I was losing a lot of hair to hardly uh, you know maybe 10 strands a day is what I lose now uh, I was losing like a bunch of hair because of my menopause but it has really worked for me so I'm hoping you know it'll work for you all uh, so I'll show you all what I do uh, so let's get into the making so now the first step so the first step to making this is uh, in this what I have is uh, around a thousand uh, grams that's a liter a thousand grams of water I have five soap nut I have uh, two of the shikakai dried shikakai I have a tablespoon of fenugreek seeds I have uh, a tablespoon of uh, in fact, I have uh, two tablespoons of flaxseed. Okay, so flaxseed uh, helps with the, the soft, smooth hair uh, and it's like a conditioner. So, uh, and I have a tablespoonful of uh, dried Indian gooseberries or uh, as we say, abla. So that's what's there in this and I have soaked it overnight uh, and everything is really soft so this is the soap nut you see how soft and squishy and this is the shikakai that's also you know soft and uh, squishy so i'm going to boil this uh, once it comes to a boil i'm going to reduce the heat let it simmer for around 10 minutes and then uh, i'm going to smash it up and strain it so let me get this uh, prepared, let me boil this and I'll get you all back when I am uh, straining the extract. Now the thing about straining this is since it's got flax seeds, it's going to become slightly thick uh, like a gel. It won't be very thick uh, because the flax seed content is not too much, it's just two tablespoons. Uh, so we'll have to uh, strain it when it's hot or it'll be difficult to strain. Okay, so let me uh, get this ready and I'll get you all back. Okay, so we've got this all ready. I'm going to strain this out. And I'm not going to use the whole of it in one go. I will be making small batches because I'm not adding a preservative to it. And since I'm not adding a preservative, I don't want to make a big batch. Normally make a small batch. Uh, we have four people in the family. We all use it. And uh, if there's a little bit left, I put it in the refrigerator. Uh, and it's mostly over within a week. So it's like I make it almost every week. Now to this, I also added a few uh, hibiscus flowers. Mm. 
Now, uh, when the schools will get a little more thicker, but if you want a more thicker consistency to than this, uh, you can obviously put more uh, flaxseed. Give me a minute. I get these cam calls. They just, you know. So, uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, if you need a thicker consistency, you can add more uh, flax seeds. This will get a little more thicker. And you can add a little more uh, flax seeds or you can use uh, xanthan gum or something like that. I tried it with uh, this, but then I didn't like it thick. I mean, it did become thick. Well, I didn't like it. Uh, but I'll tell you what you all can do uh, if you all want to use that. So now we've got this ready. Let me measure out what uh, how much I'm going to make at one time. So uh, I'm going to take 100 grams of this solution. The remaining you can just put it in a glass uh, mason jar or you know anything and you can refrigerate it like the earlier shampoo that I'd shown. Now to 100 grams of this what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add around 5 grams of SCI. And I'm going to add it when it is uh, warm or hot so the SCI can uh, get dissolved easily. Now SCI is something that's very light and tends to get airborne very easily. So uh, suggestion is that you use a mask and not try to be careful. So that's 5 grams of SCI. Now you might ask me, uh, I'm adding SCI, so why do I call it uh, all natural? All natural because SCI is a natural product, it's derived from coconut. And literally, you know, if uh, when you open uh, or when you, if you ever smell the SCI, it actually smells of coconut. Now, uh, SCI is a very uh, mild surfactant. Do you hear that? How many calls I get? Scam calls. They just go on and on. And they are all uh, Medicare and, you know, final... Um, expense and stuff like that now the best part is i'm not even 65 to get medicare i don't know why they call me what is their deal you see the lava that's forming when i try to mix the SCA.
now to this uh, once it's a little more cooler i'll be adding coco betaine so this is a thickening agent and it's a surfactant and it is natural again Now the thing is that I'm not adding any preservative, so uh, I would suggest that this uh, be stored in a refrigerator and used, uh, you know, as soon as possible. So do not make a big batch. Do you hear that? And you can be good to these guys, you can be bad to these, they just don't understand. They just go on. And I, you know, and most of them are from Pakistan. And I'm from India. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, when the, these guys who call up are from Pakistan because uh, when I speak to them and you know um, I have the same accent as them so uh, they would be like oh are you from India or are you from Pakistan and I obviously wouldn't answer them that now but then uh, they do send me whatsapp messages and they're all Pakistani numbers so I'm like guys why would you all go through this every day I get like a hundred calls a day. So now I have got my SCI mixed with this. Okay, so soap nut any which ways is a soap which does have a lather. Now we have SCI which also has a lather. Now to this, I'll add my glycerin. So this is my uh, glycerin which I've infused with the uh, hibiscus flowers. And I'm going to be adding around 5 grams of glycerin. Now, if you want this thick and you want to use the gum uh, with the glycerin, 5 grams of glycerin, this is 100 grams of uh, the solution. You take uh, the gum at 1% of the solution. So that's like uh, 1 gram. Uh, mix it with the glycerin warm it up so put it in a um, in a warm water bath let the gum dissolve in the glycerin and then add that glycerin to this now I'm not using the gum because I don't want it thick I prefer it uh, in the consistency that it will be so I'm just adding the glycerin uh, directly without adding the gum but if you want to add if you want it thicker that's what you can do so this is five grams of glycerin now it need not be something which is infused with hibiscus you can just uh, use normal glycerin i'm using glycerin just because it is a humectant and it helps now i have something that's infused with uh, Uh, which is infused with hibiscus uh, you can use just normal vegetable glycerin you can or you can use it with any other whatever you think is good for your hair now to this i'll be adding my coco betaine i'm adding around 
10 grams of this is a uh, this is also a surfactant besides a thickening agent and uh, it is uh, very mild so You hear that? And the best part is there is one more call that's coming with it. It's ridiculous. These guys are just impossible. Now to all of this, I am going to be adding some vitamin C powder. Now, vitamin C uh, helps with dandruff. So, I am going to be adding that. And it will also help uh, to get the uh, pH uh, balance in place. Going to be one gram of vitamin C. Okay, we'll mix, 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 mix. Now see how it has thickened. these pH strips. Let's just check what is the pH for this. So we are at a 5, it's not a 6 but it's a 5. I don't think it's a 4, it looks like a 5. And that's good for your hair, that pH is uh, pretty good. So this is still warm as it cools a little it's going to get a um, little more thicker but then as I said if you want it more you just add the gum just that I like it like this because uh, <clears throat> I normally just 
put it in a bottle like this and uh, you know it's like easy if it's more thick it's if it's really thick it would it's a little difficult to get it out of this now this little warm uh, in fact i can pour it so I keep it open because it's still warm uh, let me get some water I'll show you the lather test so how you use this is very simple it's like a normal shampoo you wet your hair you will uh, uh, put this like how you would normally put a shampoo and then wash it off but do not forget uh, to do a conditioner now that's the lather it lathers uh, way more in your hair uh, and uh, my experience is even after oiling my hair when I wash it with the shampoo my hair is squeaky clean and just in one wash it gets really really clean so that's your lather And all I can say is that uh, since this is natural, there are no uh, artificial or anything added. This is uh, really, really nice for your hair. Yeah. My hair is super manageable. Uh, you can use it once a week. Can you believe that? You can use it once a week. You can use it... Uh, twice a week i do it twice a week now but i'm thinking of going for once a week soon so so uh, that was it so if you see my hair it's i mean i was going bald from here but now i'm getting hair here uh you know my hair is really feeling good i i i keep i don't know why i keep touching it but it's it's so nice that uh, I just can't keep my hands away. Anyway, so uh, that's about it for how this is made. Uh, do let me know how you like it. And uh, I'll uh, get some new recipe uh, for, uh, let's see, maybe a soap or uh, a face pack or something like that. And I'll be back with you all soon. So see you all soon in the next one. Bye.